Everybody, guys, check this out. For his first seminar, he drives a $300 van, leaking uh, oil everywhere. Side. Hey, number one, I just want to tell everybody real quick, by the way, if you got a quick second or if you're watching this later, these guys are going to show you a couple really cool testimony stories. So if you're there right now and you believe there's another gear, if there's another gear you believe that's inside of you, you're going to understand how these guys found it and how they killed it. How long have you been selling cars for, Ty? Seven years. Seven years. And you made a quarter of a mil last year. It took him one year to really decide to wake up. And guess what? The first six years he played small, one year going all in, he got it. Earl Cruz got in his first year and made a buck seven. Woo! He understands though that 2022 is a 400 grand year and Earl Cruz is shooting for a 400 grand year. And then you have a story Woo! with Sam Welly. You've got some really cool stories, guys. So long story short, I'm gonna pass it off to these guys, but I just want to explain something to you, okay? If anybody right now is wanting to know what's capable, it's called unlimited. unlimited. It's unlimited, guys. There's no caps, there's no limits, and the only person that's getting in your way is you. So I want you to listen to these. Let's kick ass, let's go. No, Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I wanted to come to you guys today is just introduce you to some guys that we really run with, that we're really close to, that have achieved a lot of things that some of you out there are really looking oh, to achieve. Excited. and give you just another opinion, another way to see kind of what's possible out there in our amazing industry. So, you know, I go back a year ago, a year and just a few days ago, I first met Earl Cruz. He reached out to Andy and I remember exactly where I was. I remember the text that Earl had sent over and he was saying, man, I'm a state trooper, right Earl? Yeah. State trooper, you know, and not just about the money, but he was making about 60 grand and he found the auto industry. He's like, life, man, man. Well, I really, oh, I really, really, really know what this could do for my family. I really want the opportunity to learn and to just go to these levels that I see online. How can it be done? And he's one of those guys that weren't just Total like, just, just, yeah, oh, yeah. He, was, he wasn't the guy that's just like, oh, tell me and I'm just gonna just consume the information. Right. He took that information and I remember because it was my first day in Oklahoma and I watched this guy take every course, stay really close to us, stay really committed, stay okay. really consistent in his health, in his life, in his family. And he did something that most just dream of, but everybody has the opportunity to do. So his first year, 170 grand. <laughs> But so just want to give it to Earl real quick and just, you know, tell us a little bit about what you're feeling, Earl. Hey, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I uh, never thought I would be a car salesman whatsoever. I did not want to do it, but something led me to it. Yeah. And uh, I told myself I need to become a student of the industry because I had no idea about it. I was afraid. Yeah. So when I got in, yep. freaking <laughs> this guy. Sent that text, man. And I said, you I never knew that's what it was going to go like. Huh? And I'm like, come on, Earl, we're going, baby. Let's go. I told him yeah. I wanted to take the soul of a person, a certain person, a salesperson at the dealership. So yeah. I got you. So I consumed the information and I just stay plugged in, man. It's I love all it. about my family. Yeah, all about his family. Man, stay massively plugged in. We talk about plugged in. He's been on every seminar. He's been on every course. He's just been growing, learning, and going to the next level. So I'm really thankful because at one call, I kind of knew where it could go. We stayed really close, thought what could happen, and then we see it happen. It's yeah, just amazing. Sure. John, Sean, tell us a little bit about Sam. What's going on, Car Sales Nation? We have Sam Wally. Car Sales Nation! <laughs> this guy is absolutely freaking crazy. So he comes to Oklahoma for his first seminar. He drives a $300 van, leaking uh, oil everywhere. A year and a half ago. Makes the seminar to Oklahoma. He comes to Andy's home for the entrepreneur party. We get to meet this young man, and I'm seeing this guy, and he's kind of shy, doesn't talk a lot, but he's kind of watching everything that's going on. Yep. Didn't have a place to stay, so I said, hey, you can stay at my house. Parks his van in my driveway. It's midnight. I can't find him anywhere. He's gone. It's like, where did this guy go? I look at his van, and he's sleeping in his van in my driveway, and I was like, Sam, I got a room for you. Get in here. He goes, no, I sleep here because this is where I belong until I can get myself out of this. 
and I was like, you're my fucking dude for life, man. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately was like, dude, I love this man. He's at a dealership. They tell him they can't train with Andy. We're like, forget that, dude. You're leaving what state? Uh, Iowa. We it take him from Iowa. We relocate him to Texas with Ty, the car guy. And now, why don't you go ahead and tell him your story, my brother? Grew up, I'm an immigrant. Came here just crushing it, staying consistent, learning new things, and just taking action at it is what's gotten me here. Okay. It's always changing my mind and sticking to the game plan. That's it. Growing every day. Did you just buy your mom something special? Yeah, bought her a car, <laughs> paid it off. <laughs> yeah! Watched him grow so much. Guys, he's up 15 pounds. His energy he's got this high. big smile on his face high. every guys, day. Hey, he, didn't, he didn't just buy his mom a car. He paid it off and put the title in the glove box. Woo! Flew back to Iowa to give her the title. Not just about car sales, but they really found that groove and that gear in life that I know a lot of people out there are really trying to find. So if you really lock in with these guys, you really see what's going on here is they found something that just motivated and pushed them to the next level. Mm -hmm. And Sam, to go from 25 grand to 100 plus grand, four times in his income, yeah, Pearl, said, four times in it, running a marathon, marathon in January. Massively. Now he's like selling, he's yes. riding around with the he's weighted flag. Yeah. So yeah. He's up at three in the morning. Mind is tough, Bad so ass. let's go to Ty the car. Yeah, yeah guys, yeah, real quick, up. Ty, come up here. Yeah. Ty, really quick, there's really not much introduction what needed. Most famous he's car on the planet He's right got now. one of the <laughs> hottest brands on the planet. Like, if we want to talk about money falls attention and really starting your brand and really learning how to dominate your backyard where everybody's starting to know you and you're starting to create a buzz, Ty's done that. Let me tell Ty's backstory real quick. I came to my first master closure seminar and sat between these two guys. But this was a year ago. Ty was managing the store. Ty was trying to build his sales team. Ty realized that, hey, maybe management wasn't for him and he wanted to build his own business inside of the dealership and go back and dominate it based on what Andy was training with him. Ty goes back to the floor, which takes a whole different That's mindset. Hard. That's hard. That's incredibly tough to go back on the floor with the guys that you were training and start selling. Guys, Ty mm -hmm. in May, I was tracking 120 grand. Well, it was still more than I had done before. I, I've always been hitting 100, but yeah, I was tracking. It wasn't, I would say the same. Based on what I've done, I would say the same. About the same, right? Yeah. Now, Ty goes back and he just starts dominating it, dude. He's up to close to 300,000. <laughs> And everywhere he goes, people know his name, everything he's doing, it's like he's, he's the trend in the industry right now. And I'm just so excited to be here because I sat next to Ty. I've seen him unlock. We're gonna talk about how you go find that drive, how you go find that switch and flip it. And Ty's got some incredible stuff, guys. We're gonna sit down and I want you guys to really, really focus on their stories. Put yourself in their shoes. If you wanna start your brand, if you wanna start your marketing, if you wanna have they your reputation, reputation, they all have these that. are your guys. So guys, let's sit down and let's yeah. talk. Guys, real quick, hey Ty, show, show him the watch. Oh, okay. oh. Hey, you go ahead and you tell. Three months ago, he told me that if I I was tracking 200, he said if I hit 250, then he'd buy me a Rolex. So I had to kick it up 50 grand, but I didn't have December, so I had to do it by November. So I had to make ninety thousand dollars in the last ninety days to get this. And Woo! Yeah. He did it, put him at 300 for the year, just tremendous, you know. We're doing things that, you know, a lot of people will say are unusual, uh, but we're doing things that people just think that can't be done because everything can be done if you just make the decision. Mind, so, man. yeah. Scared scared mind. So, hey, we're gonna ask some questions about what these guys went through. Like, I wanna know about that switch, that flip. Like, I know, personally, you started to believe in yourself more and you kind of unlocked that next level. Like, if you could explain to the viewer. Uh, I mean, since my second year, I've been focused on training. I mean, I've been doing it seven years, so the last five years, I've been focused on training, um, but nothing was as accessible as Andy is to an individual. I mean, usually you'd have to have a whole dealership to even touch anybody like this. So for him to be so accessible, number one, but number two, have so much at us without me having to give him money, you know, the, the YouTube and all that stuff, and then just reaching out. But being able to kind of get a hold of it and then consistency, but I've, like I said, I've been training before and it's done me a lot of good. Um, and I've always believed that I can do great, but whenever I reached out to Andy, I wanted to do better for the salespeople that I was managing. I mean, I wanted our store to hit bigger numbers that we had never hit. Huge. And I wanted to be a better closer and help them with follow-up. So, and I ran into an Andy Andy Elliott video, and, and here we are. You're what were you we searching for on that first Andy video? Cold calls. You gotta talk about yeah. That's a leader that, like, literally, he was searching the internet to just become a better leader. You know, he was obsessed with growth. You know, he was really trying to find his groove of where he was at to help other people. Leaders out there, you don't have to do it by yourself. This is a guy that was just searching to better the lives of people. We look for those people like Ty that are like, they're just trying to better others' lives, you know? And like all these guys up here, they were trying to not only better their lives, but their lives 
of their family members. That's what you gotta do, man. That's amazing. Yeah, let me ask you this too. Like, I know when people are always asking me branding and marketing, like, where do you start for literally launch your brand into the spotlight where you go places people know you? Yeah, I mean, get on the masterminds for sure. The the three, the, the Monday with Andy, the Tuesday with Twin Tuesdays, and the Wild Wednesdays with Sean. Get on those. I mean, $99, but not, not just the ones you get to see, but the ones that everybody else has already seen. I mean, you can go yeah. find the nuggets from there. Yeah. But for your branding, like, I remember I was buy from Ty at first, which is just not as, as good as Ty the car guy. But buy from Ty, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be buy from Ty. And I put a video out to say, hey, I put the statement out there, what I sell, where I am, and how you can contact me, just very simple. That's where I started. And then it just became, let me put out walk around videos. Let me put out, just post pictures of cars. Let me post, I made it uh, relevant on my mind, you know, just I was aware that I needed to be uh, consistent and be in front of everybody all the time. Always be who you are, always be where you say you are, and then always be accessible to them, just like Andy was accessible to get you guys where you are right now. Dude, dumb. I mean, that's huge. Dude. Like that. I, I wanna ask Earl, like with your brand, your brand is really hot too. You know, what are some of the things that you would tell people, but what do you think about like, you know, Earl the Trooper and like the things that you've done? Well, when I go on my branding and, and stuff, I primarily use Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and I started doing like personal things. Mm -hmm. People resonate more Ooh, with yeah. personal, Type of relationship yeah. kind of thing. So yeah. not as much selling cars. No, no, no. Okay. Like, like I'll go and I'll have customers come on because you may want to do your likes and leads and stuff like that. So I'll yeah. those customers on there. And I yeah. do a transformational post about them. Yeah, and yours are great. And, all that, and people love that. Mm -hmm. And you know, and then after a while, they start sending people to me. It's like, oh, I read that post. It was absolutely. You, if you're not following Earl Cruz, go follow him because what he's saying is powerful. He writes these really amazing posts of people, and it's just spread in his community. As far as the branding, yeah. It all, it's all reputation. All reputation. You know I mean? So I post not just car sales stuff. My family, I post, yep. you know, my wife. Yeah. We'll go on trips and I post things like that. So they can re resonate with you with oh, what you're doing. And then you see everybody who's like posting things about all the success and all that stuff. Nobody sees the struggle. So what I do is I also post struggle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. And when I started posting struggle, I do live videos mm -hmm. on mine. It doesn't have to be car sales. Yeah. You know, my faith, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm going through, what I'm doing in the gym. Mm -hmm. and that's nothing. Yeah. Fitness. And what I realized, I had no idea who was watching. Everybody Even though I wasn't getting like the, the engagement, I was getting a message from Australia. Hey, I've been watching your videos. You changed my life. I, I don't even know how we became friends, but you never know just by sharing this. Yeah. Can I ask you a question then? Do you find fulfillment through contribution that way? Does that feel, I mean, how does it make you feel? amazing. Because yeah. yeah. you never know. Like, is, like, wow, I impacted somebody. I have no idea I was impacting. And it makes me want to make sure I stay consistent because when people are watching me, now I feel like, wow, I got eyes on me. Yeah. I need to go out there and be the best yeah. version of myself. Yep. They can, can learn from what my mistakes I have. And then they, they see a problem I've overcome, they can use that same to help them through it. When you do that, it it helps with burnout. It helps with yeah. purpose. It helps you get through the trying times knowing that you're giving back to other people. Ooh, that's and that's how we're able to push so hard as yeah. a team because there's, it's not about us. That's how we found each other. That's right. how Ian and Evan and I uh, ended up getting together. And like Earl was saying, you know, when he's talking about like having that real struggle, one thing that people like about you is you'll be honest with them. Yeah. You're not you worried work. about the likes and the views. You're worried about like the one person that might yeah. see it yeah. that resonates with Another it brand is. is Sam's brand. You know, every time I see Sam's brand, it's like it high energy. Consistent. A lot. Say it. Say it. Say it. Give it to him. What's good on the lot? What's good on the lot? What's good on the lot? Well, you know, my mom used to say that. She's like, this yeah. guy I'm following is what's good on the lot. Yeah, and you're like, you're following <laughs> Sam? He's like, yeah, my mom's <laughs> following <laughs> Sam. He's exactly. like, he's crazy. So I have a question for Sam then, because Sam's brand took a while, massive mm -hmm. adversity. The dealership didn't back him. He has to relocate. He's living out of a van. <laughs> what kept you going, man? Yeah. What kept me going was just uh, improve, build a skill. And from which to Andy, and also doing the training, I learned follow up, and that's what's been really helping me get through just following up and staying consistent. I'm focused and just getting out of the phone and dialing. Yep. He knows where he's going. One thing that Sam picked up the last couple of weeks that he's just been killing it is the high interest. The high interest. Sam, talk about how many deals you did. In the last so it's been three weeks, and I got 16 deals off of that. 16 deals! <laughs> He says that's smile and dial and yeah. stay, and I'll tell you, Sam, when I watch Sam, like, I think about a guy that's, like, relentless, and he's got this discipline, pursuit, and man. he's come so far. Now he's, like, literally crushing the competition. Not only that, but then he's getting people in, and he's giving them a chance at a better car for a better rate, so you're actually doing your customers a better service, yeah. and now yeah. those customers haven't been contacted in a couple of years, and now they're your people. Which right. They might have been a couple of your people. Yeah. And, and that was <laughs> the dream there, so the beginning, hey, make, make a year of good payments, and we'll get you another car. 
far, he's following through with what we tell the people. Yeah. Ooh, see, that's good. So he's following through on the promise. And guys, what you're hearing is a lot of reputation, a lot of like who you are. We're always searching for the magic bullet of like, I want more leads, I want more leads. Well, you guys are the leads. They're telling you from firsthand experience that it's within you. It's how you treat these people. It's how you treat this business. You know, I think that you guys all three treat it like a blessing versus like some people are like, oh, I gotta go to work today. You know, oh, oh man. It's a close like a brotherhood. Yeah. We run as a pack. And that turns into your brand, man. You stay freaking consistent. Earl Cruz, king of consistency because he's just running, man. He's just having well, fun with it. I remember calling like just so jacked up. I freaking call Sean. You know, we had that conversation. That was three in the morning. I mean, we did that like, like, for like three months. Three forty-five, three thirty in the morning. I'm like, dude, these yeah. are it, it, it went to three a.m. You know, like, so three a.m. I, I think <laughs> one of the things too is we all like to compete, you know, and it's a healthy competition. And we like to compete within the group, but we also like to compete against everybody else because we're interested in not just like Ty. He's like, dude, I don't want to just hang with the competition. It's time to dominate. Time to dominate. Yeah. Ty, how does it feel when you're like getting out there and just kind of like doing what you're doing? Dude? Yeah. No, I mean, it, feel, it feels great. And the part for me is that I just, I know that I've got so much more to give. That's why I left the desk because as I was learning and training, I was trying to push the training to the salespeople and I was like, man, I just got so much left in me. And I know that I still have so much yeah. more left in me. You're just That's, getting started. Man, but if the Elliot group and Andy weren't consistently pushing me, this could have easily been just like everything else where, I, you know, I just sleep on it and then it, it disappeared. Yeah. And I want to to just talk to, well, I mean, all three of you guys too on this. How do you go to those numbers and still have a life with your family? It's not like I'm working, you know, 24 hours a day. I'm still working what I was working for, but now it's like 60 Love minutes in an hour. Yeah, it's just like buckled down on the time that I am working. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, that's what that's where it is and just knowing what I need to get done. Also, you're just more impactful in those minutes that you're working. You're actually working. You have a plan for those minutes. I want everybody around me to be that same way. You know, it's not like I'm just doing it by myself. Like, well, you know, I'm like, yeah. dude, let's all go. He's not scared to have other salespeople that are badass. Well, that's the only way you level up too, man. You know, you can level up yeah. you know, pushing people to, you know, persevere past you. Once you do that, it's game over. So yep. when, when, when someone comes into our culture, our tribe, we give them everything and all the tools and people are like, well, why are you doing that? Because that's what makes you run harder and level up and everybody grows. Yep. If you want it all for yourself, it's a lonely road. It's a lonely road. <laughs> Earl, same with you, man. So five kids, you know, you're in the car. He's got a whole basketball team. You know, you yeah, got the basketball team. You got the cruise basketball, basketball team. Basketball team. Family. So when I first started the car industry, I had no business whatsoever. So I was literally at the dealership six days a week to try to go. So I can just go. What happened with that is that my wife started saying like, you're not home. She didn't like it. Out. So then at the point at that point she was like, you're not likely to take the days off. So what I started doing, I started taking my days off. Two days is my normal day off. Then I don't usually go in until one PM on Thursday, but of course I was working nine to nine that I started taking that time off. So at that point, I also, with the dealership being very flexible and timing and stuff with my kids, I talked to my manager, I said, look, Mondays and Wednesday, my kids are here because we have uh, shared custody 50-50. I need to be home by 5 p.m. Mondays and Wednesday. All right, cool, no big deal. We're going to schedule and work it out that way. Now, after this, all this time has gone by, now that I've developed my brand, I also have now a referral business coming in. Not only that, I have Facebook, so leads are coming through for now, and then, People will be hearing about me and just did a great customer service that you learn from this team. You know what I mean? People are now like, I want that guy. Google reviews, holy cow, look at all these five stars on this one particular person. Go on Facebook, look at all this stuff. Easy person to pick. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Right so guys, that's kind of like what Ty's saying. He's doing the right things. And one more thing, guys. Yeah. I still work out seven days a week. Still yeah, but Sam, uh, so hard. you immigrated here. Hard. You, you go hard. up on those crazy hard. numbers. Hard. You buy mama a car. Like, what was that like? You paid the car off. What did mom think of? Uh, you think you were in like a Ponzi scheme? Oh, yeah. That's a freaking dream. Tell me a little bit about that feeling, bro. Man, it felt great. Mom started sitting me in the phone. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, a really nice experience to be, yeah. to be, to be, to be back with my mom. You know, she took care of us, and uh, as immigrants, there's a few things that you know we you struggle do. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, but it was real nice to take care. What of are you gonna do you. next for? Oh, my house. Come on, what's good? That's why he's here. Uh, pay off the houses, but the only way that you create value like that for your family is if you create the value inside of yourself. Yep. So that way the market starts to see you like these guys like yeah. work. You gotta have the courage to do stuff that you've never wanted to do. Yeah. You know, and so I think that's true, just tremendous. Like to show up to work, don't show up to wait. You gotta show up to create. And it's gotta be about creating. Ooh, don't show up to wait, show yeah. up to create. Every day yep. for 365 days. Can you do it? Yes, you can, because these guys are privately 
coaching with Andy for the last year and they've done it. We'd ask you to do the same in 2022. It will pay you whatever you're worth. Some of you will slow play this market. This will go into 2023, 2024. If you skill up, you'll dominate the market. Guys, by the way, the reason why we put Sean in this chair is because he has back issues because he's getting <laughs> yeah. old. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. he's had to carry Evan yeah. for a long time. Yeah. yeah, he has been carrying me for a so, while. You're adorable kids. <laughs> you're right here. It's, like, it's a lot nice. easier to go 110% at something versus 80%. We got or, tons of content on YouTube. Yeah. Like reach out to one of our coaches and let us be that connection. I mean, it literally, Andy was the connection with all of us yeah. that changed all of our lives. Be you too. For me, I'll tell you something real quick. When I met Andy, I was struggling as a GM. When we met the twins, they were on fire. And I told them, you guys are on this mountain, why don't you come down and go down a bigger mountain. Lowe's, which is where I started with Andy, these guys had to come down off that big ass yeah. mountain to go scale another yeah. thing. Yeah. And they went to crush it. Tyler here to serve you all. But you gotta raise your hand and say, hey guys, I need help. Like Sean's well, saying, you know, we were top salespeople in the country for 10 years. It's a lot better to run with a bunch of We never ran with a we never, I never had a group to run with when I was selling cars. You know, every day we get to partner with these guys and we get to be close to each other and we get to do this live together. So if you're out there doing it by yourself or you're a top sales pro, join the I tribe. I already know if you're a top sales pro. If, you, if you think you're the top sales pro in the world, there's nothing that you need to learn. Well, then your past growth, you need to give back through contribution. Yeah, That's the only way you will find fulfillment because yeah, the money won't do it. Absolutely. Then you're lonely. That what doesn't work that way. That's not how life was created. So guys, yeah, reach out. Hey, you don't also have to reach out to us too. I mean, I'd say reach out to all of us, but you can reach yeah. out to these guys guys you know you can ask them about their story you can ask them where they started you know they're servant heart leaders here you know they're they're if earl's on a message with somebody at all times he's messaging all kinds of people ty's always messaging somebody uh, sam wally's always making somebody laugh telling them his story so reach out guys reach ty out ty texts me and goes did you get out my number <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we always give out their numbers you know we always give out your numbers um so guys we love you guys what else we got group love your minds go get in here Oh!